Shreveport mayoral candidate Leo Savage is here. Okay, so a lot of controversy lately. You had a big crime deal yesterday, sort of a big crime confab. And there has been sort of a controversial idea being floated by a lot of folks about about Caddo Parish Sheriff's deputies helping out Shreveport police. What do you think about that? Well, I think it's wonderful, but I don't think it's been embraced. Um, here's the thing. Let me, let me throw this in and then sure. you can finish up. That's interesting you say that because I had spoken to when this idea was first floated. We both talked to a number of Shreveport police officers. And the first two I talked to said, we don't need them. We need to be allowed to do our jobs. I, we have speculated for a while what exactly that means. Going back to your criticism of Shreveport police leadership, and I would assume uh, not necessarily enamored with the current administration, what is it that Shreveport police aren't being allowed to do? They're not allowed to do their job. Um, you know, I think that, that the fear of and what we see a lot on television where this officer is starting to hit, you know, this person who is down. I think that they're, they're afraid to do what they're supposed to do. You know, when, whenever we have somebody, there's a gun, they, these guys have got to be able to do their job. They put their life on the line. You know, if they are placed in a life-threatening position, they've got to defend themselves. They've got to be allowed to do what they've got to do. They are police officers. Now, when you see someone going over the line, Robert, you now that's that's way over abuse. But there has to, and there's a fine line. There really is. Do you think it is? Do you think it is the fault? Do you think it is sort of the Hmm, how do I phrase this? Do you think it is sort of the, the, I can't think of the word that I want. Do you think it is sort of uh, that, that the police themselves feel that, th that that sense comes from leadership that they are being held back? Well, sure. You know, again, if, if you're working for me and I tell you this is what I want you to do and this is what I don't want you to do, that's what you got. So I really, really feel that these people are not been able to do what they need to do. But going back to your original question, you know, we've got to have a police chief who is not – that embraces the fact that they want to work with the state police, with Bossier police, and with the sheriff's office. We've got to have someone who, who – they all get together and they say, hey, what can we do? It, crime is not just here. It's everywhere, and we've got to make sure that we fight it everywhere. We got let, time let for me one ask more. You this, what Leo, you got? Um, we're talking to Leo Savage, candidate for mayor. You you talk about getting more officers on the streets and a, a leader, a strong leader. We have a problem in this community. We have police officers moving away. We cannot get enough through the academy to keep the forces up. What is your plan specifically the day you become mayor? to address that the the flight from shreveport police is huge sure it is um here's here's the the fact the fact is and this is from uh uh gooden himself when i heard him a couple of weeks ago 36 officers leave the police force every year that's the attrition now some of those are quitting leaving other jobs some retiring you know some are let go uh but 36 is the number uh, our, our current mayor said if, for whatever reason, it's if she wins, she's going to hire 80 more officers. Well, in, in order to add 80 officers, you get the math. You're going to have to hire, you know, 116, right? Mm -hmm. So w we've got to make sure that that we hold on, just like you're suggesting, you know, and, and I have to tell you, Aaron, I mean, look at what we have. Our, our officers right now make less than anybody around our area, anywhere. So uh, pay raise Bozier, for officers? Well, look, here's what she was trying to do. She was saying, we're going to hire 80 officers. That equates out when you add benefits and everything together. An officer, and, and a lot of people don't really understand this, but benefits and your matches, everything adds up. But it's about 55000 per year. Now, they only get thirty nine when they start. Mm -hmm. but. 55 is that total. So that's about $4.4 million. You know, I, I want to take the officers we have, put our officers on the street, take that $4 million, 
if we have it to hire, we've got it to spread around. Mm -hmm. Let our officers get paid what our officers are supposed to get paid. I think we've got to really dig hard into the budget when we get there and see exactly what we can do to award our officers what they deserve. They're putting their life on the line. We've got to make sure that they feel comfortable, they feel good and proud to work for Shreveport.